Yes, this is the video you think it is. No cap here. We are going to be trying to embroider a baseball hat today on the sewing report. I'm Jen and this channel is all about making sewing fun and approachable. And this is a very difficult item to hoop and embroider on a home machine. A lot of the industrial machines have a special cap attachment. I previously did a video doing a hat a few years ago. Technically, it was possible, but it was really difficult. I think there are a lot of things I could have done better. So we're going to be doing a redo, a reboot. Yes, we are. This hat has been sitting in my supply pile for years. And I also bought a few more in case I messed this one up. I don't think this one is available anymore, but I will link some others down below in the description box, along with a lot of the products I will be using. Some are affiliate links and we We'll be trying this out on the Brother Sketch PP1 embroider machine. It has this magnetic hoop and obviously we can't hoop this the traditional way so we have to kind of float it over the hoop. I'm going to be trying out a new stabilizer. I've gotten on the fusible train and I like it. I'm going to be honest. This is called Hydro Stick Tearaway by Oklahoma Embroidery like something designs. It's expensive. I will warn you it is not cheap stabilizer. But the issue I was having was getting the hat to stick to the stabilizer in the hoop. And this looks like it'll make it easier. So we're going to bust this out and I'm going to hoop a piece of it. Since we last met, I also made some changes to the magnetic hoop here. So I had some tape marking out the center points. And instead, I'll insert some footage here. I used some Angelus leather paint. I know, kind of a weird choice. And I used a toothpick to mark the lines so they were a bit more like permanent. And here's the good thing. While it, the, the marks don't easily come off, if I want to remove this paint, I can just kind of scratch it off. It doesn't have to be super permanent, which is something I kind of like. All right, so I've got some supplies here and this is the design I will be trying. If you're gonna be trying to do a baseball cap, I don't even know if this is gonna be successful if I'm being completely honest. I would pick a design that's fairly small. This hoop is four by four. And I would pick something that isn't too large because you're not going to have a lot of surface area to work with once you get this hat down, if you can even do it. So we're going to give that a shot, but I wouldn't pick anything too large. I would also recommend if this is your first time, pick a design that's not, doesn't have to be super aligned up, like something that can be kind of asymmetrical. If this fish is a little bit crooked, no one's going to be able to tell. So you might want to avoid like text or anything because that's going to be a lot more noticeable if it's not completely even with like the rest of the hat. So I've also got some sew tights minis, water soluble marking pen and a chip clip. And I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with that because I have some ideas for making this easier. So we're going to experiment a little bit. And I also have a bowl of water and a sponge because this stabilizer is actually water activated. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we're going to give this a whirl and see if it's all it's cracked up to be. Again, for the price, it really should be because this stuff was like pretty expensive. All right, let's take the tape off here. This is like the adhesive side and this side is definitely supposed to be facing up. And this side is supposed to be facing down because there's no glue on it. It's fairly wide, so I'm actually going to cut it in half. This is 15 inches by five yards. And here's the instruction. I'm pretty excited to try this out and see like how well this sticks. And I'll put the rest of this away here. Just so I can remember which stabilizer this is. I always kind of take the label and sort of roll it up and then stick it into the cardboard tube here. I want to try to get two pieces out of the entire width of the roll. So I don't know. I think it'll like just make it here. So we're going to get it hooped. And this design has like a, quite a few colors. I'm just going to use some basic polyester thread. I did a test stitch out on a very thick piece of canvas and it worked out pretty good. And the hat fabric is actually not as thick. So I actually picked a pretty good tester. Okay, so right, let's hoop the stabilizer. Ah. This is going to be a little bit of trial and error here too. Okay, so I got the glue side up, so I think this will be all right. Okay, here we go. I was afraid of this being like kind of too small, but it seems to be okay. So now I've got just the stabilizer hooped here. I'm actually going to try to draw on the back of the stabilizer. All right, so I'm going to take my marking pen here. So I'm going to just mark here. Okay, but what I'm going to be doing is actually flipping this over and actually 
drawing my lines. So you see, I can see the lines on the back. So I'm gonna take my ruler, draw this on the back since this is like the uh, non-glue side and hopefully this works out. Because I'm choosing a design that's a bit more asymmetrical, it's not super, super critical that this is totally perfect, which is why I picked a design that's a little bit more forgiving. I forgot where I got this design, but I will link it below. But this is not an included design. I actually had to purchase this one. But you can find a lot of designs online if you just look around for them. I checked out Embroidery Library and Embroidery Designs recently, and I found some like pretty cool stuff there. Okay, so here's the hat. And it's just your ba standard baseball cap. You do want to use a non-structured or an unstructured hat. Structured hats will not work for this project. Brother has said that you can't really do hats and they re they've been recommending to people that they just ma make like a patch and put it on the hat. But we're gonna try to do this. So I'm actually gonna take this back part off just to make it easier to lay this as flat as I can. But I am gonna need to move this out of the way and I felt by opening up the hat as much as I could that that would be a little bit easier. So I really need to make sure this is out of the way. I also brought this like rando chip clip thing and I'm going to put this on the brim of the hat. And my reason for doing that is to try to flatten the brim out a little bit. I don't really know if this will work. And the design is gonna stitch out this side up. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this vertical line to also line up with the vertical line in the hat. So that's what we're gonna try to do. You can actually, this is cool because you can actually sort of see the center point in the hat. So now comes the moment of truth. I've got a bowl of water and this little cellulose sponge. I actually use these for face care. All right, so I'm just gonna dip it in the water a little bit and see if we can activate the water. This is supposed to be a pretty strong bond once you get in place. So we got some water here. We're just gonna try, okay, the lines aren't really disappearing, so that's good. All right, I need to try to get this stuck down here. I'm gonna need to like, okay. This is gonna be kind of difficult here. Okay, ah, oh wait, actually, I've got an idea. I could probably just go like this. Okay, here we go. Ah, this is not going super well. This is why it's kind of difficult to do hats, guys. Okay, all right, so I'm just trying to line up the middle here. All right, is this gonna work? Is this going to work? Actually, this is not going super badly so far, okay. This is actually sticking like pretty well. This part is just really tough and I feel like I should have done a smaller design. This is gonna be kind of difficult. I might actually be able to use the sew tight sew to keep this kind of down even more. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty tough here. But luckily the design is pretty small. I'm not even sure where the center of the hoop is. We're gonna get a little more water here and try to get this stuck down a little bit more. Okay, all right. I'm gonna see if this product actually freaking works. It's not bad. It's working okay. This hat is just a very difficult project, so that kind of stinks. Okay, here's the underside. You can see where the center of the hat is. It's not bad, I'll take it, I'll take it. We're just trying to see if this actually works. All right, I did manage to get some sew tights on the hat after all to help keep some of the fabric out of the way. Now the challenge is getting this entire thing under all of this. I purposely don't have a needle in because I'm going to be putting a fresh needle in just for this project. I figured that couldn't hurt, right? Let's see if we can get all of this under here. Okay, this is definitely kind of a tight squeeze. I hope I don't get any gunk on the hat. I already have one stain at the back, but you know, it is what it is. Get this all lined up. This does seem to be working out okay. Let's also put in a fresh needle. These are Oregon Ballpoint 80 over 12. I actually use these for a lot of embroidery projects and somehow they work out okay. I also sometimes use uh, 90 over 14 as well. I've already taken the old needle out and we're just gonna put a fresh needle in. The flat part of the needle should be facing the back. And I've got a little screwdriver that came with one of my other brother machines. All right, and I'm gonna Turn the screw a little ways, and then I'm gonna use the screwdriver to make sure it's really tight here. But I'm gonna bring up the Artspira app here. Obviously, you all know my history with the Artspira app. I've already uploaded the design to the app. All right, and here it is. All right, let's uh, get this loaded in here. All right, let's transfer. Needle is down. Just, okay, well, I guess that's where the center will be. All right, soon enough. I might actually move this down a little bit too. We'll see. Transfer, press the accept button. I might make some adjustments 
depending on where the design is in the center because I might want to move it down a little bit because I don't want the design too far up on the hat. All right, so we're going to attach the embroidery frame now here. Okay, so now this is attached. I also want to make sure this little tail part is out of the way. So I'm going to sort of like fold this out of the way here. It's actually working out okay. This stabilizer seems to be holding up pretty well. This is like way too far up on the hat, I feel like. So let's cancel. All right, and I'm going to move this down just a bit. All right, so let's uh, move, let's see, down. All right, so I want to move this down a little bit. Not too far down because obviously it's, I don't want the design to like hit my sew tights magnets or anything like that. But I think I've got a little bit of leeway here to move it down. Okay, I think this might work. Let's see where the center point is now. All right, uh, don't save. Let's try transferring now. Let's move this back up just a little bit. All right, move it back a little bit, not too much. Okay, let's do uh, here, okay. Want it to be as far down as possible without hitting anything. So we'll, we'll see if this works or not. I don't know. I honestly don't know. All right, let's transfer. It, this takes forever to send the data. This sort of drives me crazy, this little guidance thing. Now let's see what the first color is. Okay, let's see what the first color is. Okay, so the first color is like these outside fins and stuff. Let me look at my sample too to see what colors I did because I honestly don't remember. All right, let's get the thread stand here. Fresh needle in, so we'll do purple. All right, we just gotta thread this machine. I'm getting pretty used to this machine overall in like the threading. I did have some issues with the app, with an applique design that I imported. It stitched out really weird, uh, so I don't know about that. He's down here. All right, I'm gonna cut some of this off because I don't need this much thread. All right, we'll also run this down below the foot here, this little embroidery foot. Okay, now we'll see how this works out. I'm a little scared, honestly, I'm kind of scared. The center point is like right here. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so it seems to be lined up okay. Let's see where it starts. Okay. Um, I don't think that's too bad, okay. Okay, yeah, that's not too far down on here. Seems to be all right. Let me try this out. Let me, uh, let me cut this off here. Having a fresh needle does often help too. Yeah, we definitely have enough clearance here for everything. So that's good. We'll see how it, it should handle the fabric pretty well because I tested this out on a much thicker fabric and it did okay. On the last color here. We're just gonna do the bubbles on the fish and that's it. Uh, 
we're gonna clean it up. Yeah, this is a little bit tricky here. Put the needle up just a little bit so it doesn't get caught in here. And then be very careful taking it out of the hoop. All right, here's the front of the design. I could have gone a little bit lower. I did have a bit more leeway than I thought, but I wasn't exactly sure how it was gonna turn out and I wanted to be safer rather than sorry. Back needs a little bit of cleaning up here, that's for sure. All right, so first I'm gonna take off the magnets here. Here's the test sample and then here is the hat. It actually worked out pretty well. Ballpoint needles, all that jazz. Let's take the sew tights off. The sew tights actually did help a bit to keep the rest of the hat material out of the way. So I am glad I was able to put those on here. Let's take those guys off. And then we will unhoop the material and then we will clean everything up here. Actually, it might be easier to clean everything up while it's still in the hoop. So we'll do that. Let's take my, wow, these sew tights are pretty strong here. PSA, I do sell these in the Sewing Report Etsy shop, just so you know. I have several different varieties, but the minis worked well because they're small and I wanted something that wasn't too big. They don't take up much space in here and I don't have a lot of room, so I gotta do everything I can. So this design, I think was like a little over like two and a half inches. I think it was a good size and it was kind of centered. So something like a circle would work. I wouldn't do something very long, but something kind of small, asymmetrical, and you know, maybe not font or anything like that. All right, let's clean this up here. But it doesn't look too bad on the back. I'm curious to see how easy this tearaway comes off. That's not too bad and this is obviously on the inside. So the one thing is it will, is this can be a little bit scratchy on your head. So something to keep in mind. That's not too bad. All right, let's unhoop this. How's this gonna work here? All right, take this out. Shout out to Hydro Stick because this stuff is a really strong bond. So they recommended you get it wet again and that'll loosen the adhesive. So we'll try that and it should come off, hopefully. All right. So let that sit for a little bit. This really did stay. It was advertised as being for hard to hoop items like hats or things like shirt collars, that sort of thing. All right, this is coming off. It's definitely very uh, sticky. Okay, I'm gonna let this, I want it, I want the glue to actually come off. It's kind of leaving res, I don't want it to leave like paper residue. So we'll just get this wet again. It's gonna take a little bit for this hat to dry here. Yeah, so this needs to be pretty wet and then we'll let the hat dry. All right, yeah, here we go. Now it's coming off okay. All right, so yeah, it does need to be like wet. The glue is definitely sticking to my hand and oh yeah, it's coming off pretty cleanly. Okay, here's my excess here, not too bad. There's definitely, I'm gonna need to wash my hands though because there's a lot of glue on my hands. So I might need to like kind of run this under some water or something, I'll be back. I went over to my sink and sort of rinsed the hat out more to get some of the glue residue off the back. Back looks pretty good. I think the only thing I would have done different in hindsight is I would have tried to lower the design a little bit more. I could have gone a good half an inch lower and I think that would look better on the hat. It doesn't look bad and I'm glad I was able to demonstrate that you can do a hat. I think it would have looked better placed a little bit further down, but hey, you live and you learn and that's what this is all about here at the sewing report. So to answer the question, yes, you can do baseball caps on the Brother Skitch PP1 embroider machine. It's not super easy. I would not recommend trying to do this like all day long as some sort of business, but if you're doing one-offs here and there, it would probably be okay. Just do the proper preparation. If you can get a hold of that hydro stick stabilizer, 10 out of 10 recommend that stuff was pretty amazing and worked as advertised. I'm actually gonna try to do another hat and see how that turns out. I also bought a few other different types of hats, so we will be demonstrating those projects as well in future episodes. Anyways, I'm Jen with The Sewing Report. Make sure to check out some of my previous videos on this embroidery machine, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. And remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.